I'm Rob Peacock from Rustington. Um, my great grandfather's brother was called Richard Peacock, and he had a son called Benjamin Peacock, known as Ben. Ben was, uh, I found out, used to work for the White Star uh, Line on the Oceanic ship. And then he, uh, he took a job in Elizabeth, New Jersey, I think as a mechanical engineer in the power works or something. And um, his wife was Edith and she had a daughter, Tria Steele, which is of Cornish descent. And um, when he went to America, in, uh, which was in 1911, April 1911, Edith, his wife, was too ill to travel, possibly because she was pregnant at the time. So he went off to America and then later on, he sent the money back to his wife for her to buy tickets to rejoin him in America. And oddly enough, he waited until April because having been on, um, been on the ships himself, he was worried about icebergs and things. So he waited until April, sent her the money for her to buy the tickets for her, her daughter, and by then she had a seven month old baby boy who he'd never seen. Uh, and the money arrived the day before the Titanic sailed. So he didn't know whether the money had arrived or whether she'd bought the tickets. So she, she unfortunately, it did. She bought the tickets. Um, and uh, Ben had two brothers who'd been in the Royal Navy. And they were due to travel on the Titanic. So she went out of her way to buy the tickets to get on the Titanic so she could travel with her two brothers-in-law. And at the last minute, they decided not to travel. So they didn't get on. She went off with uh, the three-year-old little girl and the seven-month-old uh, baby. And of course, they all drowned. But uh, there's a one, uh, one account where uh, there's a, one of the employees on the ship, he, uh, he tried to get them into a lifeboat um, and uh, tried to save them. But then and then a wave tipped them out and the three of them drowned. But in lifeboat number 16, according to, I've got some sort of papers relating to all that later on. But um, so yes, so they didn't go, the brothers didn't go, but she went and the, with the two children and, uh, and all three of them drowned. And the other thing, of course, was that the two brothers that were too, due to travel, they were Ernest and Robert Peacock, funny enough, the same name as me, and they'd both been in the Royal Navy. We know that Robert must have been an excellent swimmer because he was given an award when um, the British cruiser Gladiator uh, collided with a steamship SS St Paul off of the Isle of Wight in 1908 and he swam off the Isle of Wight to the wreck and saved several people and was given an award for saving people in the sea off the Isle of Wight in a snowstorm so he was obviously must have been a very strong swimmer and you think if he'd have travelled with them like he was supposed to would him and his brother have saved Edith and the two children you, you think Maybe yes, because uh, you say he was obviously a very good swimmer. If he swam into the sea, all that way out to the wreck and, and saved people. Cool. So, um, so yeah, th th those are the sort of the saddest bits, really.